Hi everyone, it's Jen Sheffer. Thanks for joining me for today's training tutorial on how to create a fill in the blank activity in Nearpod. So you will start in your Nearpod library and you're going to click on the create drop down menu and select lessons. From there, a lesson will open. You can give it a title and we're gonna start by clicking on add slide. And from there, we're going to click on the activities tab and select fill in the blanks. Before you begin, you can select a text style, which will give you a certain type of font as well as a background color. So this is going to be about the uh, United States Congress. So I'm gonna pick uh, blue. And what I can do is just paste the text either from the web or I can just type the text that I want. I have a thousand characters for a maximum. And then I am going to click next here at the bottom on the right. And then what I do to create my word bank is I just simply highlight the words that I want to be pushed into the word bank that is over here on the left hand side. So I'm going to just highlight the word Congress. And once I release, you notice it gets pushed over into the word bank. Um, so I'm going to highlight the word Senate. And I'm going to do the House of Representatives. And then I continue highlighting the words that I want in my word bank. I can do as many as I want. Um, I want my students to know that senators serve for six years. I want them to know that rep um, representatives are based on a state's population. I want them to know there are a hundred senators in the US Congress. So once I am done, I can click done right here on the bottom right. And that fill in the blank activity was successfully added to my Nearpod lesson. Um, and that's how you would create a fill in the blank. It's an excellent way to introduce vocabulary or review vocabulary. And uh, I hope that you will give fill in the blanks a try. It's very interactive for your students and I think they will really enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.